My whole career, I always had the same approach. But I guess Justin Verlander, after the second time I faced him, I said, from now on, I'm going to look down in the zone for the mm -hmm. fastball. And that's the only chance I got against him. I kept my eye level down here the entire time. Anything up here, I never would offer at it because he would pound me in hard. But the only thing for a strike inside would be down. So okay. one or two pitches a game, I was hoping to get that pitch the entire time against Justin Verlander. And what part of the field were you trying to hit it when you got your fastball down? Well, Justin, I was trying to hit, for the first time, trying to hit over the shortstop's head because <laughs> the breaking ball is so great, you cannot, you got you to choose your poison when a guy's this dominant, mm -hmm. and that's what you have with Walker Bueller. You got to look down in the zone and try to split the plate and try to make sure as a right-hander trying to look over the shortstop or... If you want to zone him out and go opposite field, I will go opposite field also. 97 up here, folks, you dream about hitting that, but it's hard to get there. That's, that's, that's the impossible dream for a hitter right there. Because this possible racing right here, especially 95 plus, 97, the way guys are throwing right now, it's hard to get on top of it. We, we, we practice, uh, like you guys know that we practice Try to get on top of the ball. Mm -hmm. We practice, but not at that level right there. We're right. trying to get it on top of the ball, a stretch zone down here. But once he go up here a couple of inches higher, it's hard to, to match that. Now show me your swing when you were coming at this ball. If this ball was coming right here, that's your swing. Now, if you don't mind showing me the modern day swing of the young kids, how do they come at the ball now? Launch angle. So you see this angle right here, guys? I would say anything above this imaginary line right here, I'm gonna leave it alone and my eyes would focus down. Because I knew if the ball was here or higher, it was unhittable, especially if there was some velo. If you're throwing 88, nobody does that anymore, maybe in high school, you're good, but you gotta get the ball down. I got you to swing on that.